Hey everyone, Arshako here, welcoming you to Flower. Welcome to the world of Flower. This game isn't really like a whole lot of other games you've probably played. There's no score, no time limit, definitely no shooting, I can tell you that much. Honestly, Flower is kind of more of an experience than like a true game. And I'm okay with that, because let me tell you something. This is an experience you definitely don't want to miss. So, normally when I LP, I like to be high energy, a little on the spastic side, but I think for this LP, I'm going to tone it back a bit, and we're just going to kind of chill out, if that's okay. So, as I make my way down uh, this path of petals, I'm going to go ahead and just let you guys soak in these visuals, and more importantly, this amazing soundtrack. I seriously can't talk highly enough about this music. But if you guys want a little bit of background information, Flower was the second game released by that game company under their contract for Sony to produce three exclusive games for the PS3, and then they actually ported this to the PS4. Um, and it's funny because the PS4 port is actually one of the highest rated PS4 games out right now. Um, and rightfully so, I think. Uh, anyway though, in Flower, uh, the premise is actually pretty simple. We play within the dreams of flowers. Flowers that live in kind of a rundown urban setting. As time goes on, uh, more is going to be revealed to us, and um, we're going to be introduced to a lot of commentary that kind of focuses on our ability to coincide with nature. And um, it doesn't shove it in your face, it's not super, super gung ho about it, but it does kind of open your eyes and does definitely make you think, which I definitely love. For now though, we're just kind of getting used, or well, I should say we're getting introduced to the game's main mechanics. To move, all you use is uh, the DualShock 3's Motion 6 axis, which admittedly I'm really clumsy with, so I apologize if any of you guys are kind of like, you know, slapping your foreheads at this gameplay. I'm really not the best when it comes to playing Flower, I'm, I'll be the first one to admit that, but... Um, for the time being, I don't think I'm doing too bad, and hopefully I won't totally suck at it. There, there are going to be parts where I'm going to be kind of awkward, and so I just, I do kind of want to apologize ahead of time, because I definitely am going to stumble here and there. Uh, it's not the easiest thing to get used to, especially when you're spoiled with uh, the Wii's motion controls. But with that being said, the uh, DualShock 3 doesn't have a terrible motion sensor, so there's that. Ah. <sighs> Anyway though, looks like we're actually already almost to the end of this first level, so uh, before we advance, I haven't really been showing a whole lot of it, so what do you guys say we go up and we just take a look at the scenery around us? Just, uh, isn't this breathtaking? Like, oh, I'm trying to, <laughs> here's the uh, first instance of me being a little awkward when it comes to the controls. Just, uh, look how beautiful that is. It's amazing, but anyway, enough stalling, what do you guys say we get to the end of this? Now I will say, this game has, or this game does focus a lot on exploration, just kind of going at your own pace, um, but there are still invisible walls, otherwise, you know, <laughs> I mean, how, get, how big would the game actually be, you know? And uh, how lost would you actually get if there weren't, so, uh, just something, whoops, 
Summon a Cubine, I missed a couple of those flowers. It's okay. The more flowers there are, uh, the more complicated the music gets. And by complicated, I just mean like the more instrumentation there is. Uh, so that's always a little incentive to not skip all the flowers and try to get as many as you can. But anyway... With that... We have that like swirling cherry blossom wind current thing going on, so let's go ahead and jump on in. <laughs> it's funny, um, I'm a huge fan of the game Okami, and that scene always reminds me of a divine intervention. Every time, especially with the cherry blossoms, so, you know, as a fan of that game, it's always a nice little thing to think about. You know, hey, I'm, I'm playing something from Okami. Oh, oops, I don't want to do that yet. Game, what are you doing? Get back, get out of here. Uh, anyway, though, I'm trying to, trying to get out of here, game. Hey, I'm gonna zoom out. Game, let me zoom out, come on. Well, anyway, I know that this has been really stinking short, and I apologize for that, but that is going to be it for the day. Thanks for watching me play, and in the next video, we're going to take a look at what's going on in this red flower. So until then, see you next time.